Hi everyone, I'm Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. I'm a registered acupuncturist and a yoga teacher. I like to combine Chinese medicine principles with yoga. In today's sequence, I want to share with you a full body approach to just loosening up the body and giving yourself a little bit more tone and muscle. So this is in a sequence where we're going to do a little bit more than I have in my last few videos. So we're going to be getting up off of the chair, but we're also going to be doing stuff on the chair as well. So that being said, I want everybody to take notice. How are you feeling today? And notice that every day is different. And just because you did something in a different practice in a different day, and it was good, doesn't mean necessarily it's good for you today. So we will be practicing ahimsa which is nonviolence. That's the description or definition in Sanskrit. And that's nonviolence to your body. So at any time you are feeling uncomfortable or things are feeling um, maybe achy, you're gonna go ahead and stop and or slow down or maybe not even do the posture at all. Okay, all of that administration stuff out of the way. Let's talk about being seated properly on the chair. So this sequence is going to be on the chair and off of the chair. I like to start with, um, I always like to have a practice on the chair without the arms. We are going to have our both feet planted firmly on the ground. I want you to imagine that you have four corners of the feet and are suction to the floor. Okay, so if that means you need to grip into your toes, please do that. At the same time, the knees are going to be on top of the ankles. The shoulders are going to be right on top of the waist. We will draw our belly in. Make sure your posture is nice and tall. So we're going to beam our chest up, drawing the belly in, of course, and then we're going to have the crown of our head lifted up to the sky. And now we're positioned perfectly for our chair yoga practice. So to start, we're going to have our hands on top of our thighs. See if you can gently close your eyes. Let's go ahead and take three deep breaths in and out. We do this to connect to our breath, connect to our bodies, inhaling, exhaling. One more breath, inhaling and exhaling out. So if you did close your eyes, go ahead and open them up. Let's take our arms all the way up. Nice big breath in and out. Hands to the heart. Great, again, breathing in and out. One more time, breathing in and out. So it's three times, let's do two more to make it five. Inhaling, expanding our lungs, expanding our breath. Breathing out, tall spine, breathing in. This is our fifth one, breathing out. Let's go ahead and open up the arms now. Breathing in, expand, exhale, breathe out. Again, breathing in, wide expansive chest. Exhale, breathe out. Again, breathing in and out. Two more, make it five. Breathing in, expand. Breathing out, last one, breathing in and out, perfect. You can have your hands on your thighs or maybe placing them down beside you or maybe even gripping onto the chair for support. Let's take the left arm up, inhale, tall spine, exhale, sway to the side. Good, come back up, breathing in, lift and lengthen, exhale, sway. Keep this bottom shoulder nice and relaxed. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften, breathe. Good, three times on that side. Lift and release. Let's do the other side. Breathe in and out. Softening the shoulders, expanding into the rib cage. Inhale, lift. Exhale, breathe out. Good, inhale, back up. And exhale, soft, soft stretch. Good, breathe in and out. Let's take both hands up again, breathing in, hands to the heart, exhale. Tall spine, 
spine, crown lifted to the top. Inhale here, exhale, we're gonna twist to the right. Come on back to center, breathing in, twist to the left. Good, inhale back to center, again, twist, keeping the abdominals nice and tight. Inhale back to center, tall spine. Is everybody breathing? We're gonna connect breath with movement with each minute. Now open up, breathe in, exhale, twist, good. Inhale, open, exhale, twist, good. If you're keeping the bellies nice and tight, we're kind of working into the digestive system. Breathing out, whoosh, good, up. breathing in, and out, twist. Excellent. Come on back to center. Release the arms. We're going to roll the shoulders out. Five. Four. Sitting tall. Three. Keep on breathing. Two. And one. Perfect. Let's take the arms all the way up again. This time, breathe in. Exhale, hands to the heart. Okay, now from here, we're going to breathe in. Open up. Exhale, take the hands back to the heart. Okay, we do that again. Breathe in, up, hands to the heart. Push them out, in and out. Okay, again, breathing in, arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart, perfect. Point them forward, breathe in, breathing out. We're gonna do two more to make it five. Breathing in, arms up, breathe out. Inhale, push forward and back, okay, one more time, breathing in, exhale, breathe out, in, and out. Now, arms all the way up, interlace the fingers, I want you to reach all the way up, inhale, looking forward, and then exhale, rounding the back, so it's kind of your first cat pose here, pushing the knuckles forward, drawing the belly to the back of the chair. Great, now breathing in, lift up. Exhale, take your hands behind the head, open up. Lift up your chest, draw the belly in, inhaling here. Exhale back to neutral, breathing in, and then exhale, release the arms, okay? Wanna do it again? Inhale up, interlace, inhale. Exhale, rounding, rounding, good. Inhale, lift, exhale, hands behind the head. Inhale, lift, lift, lift the chest. Exhale to neutral spine, breathe in, and then exhale, release. Can we do three to make it uh, three times a charm? Arms up, in, exhale, breathe out. Nice cat pose, round that back, bring the chin into the chest. Good, inhale, lift, exhale, open up the heart. Expand those elbows away from each other. Inhale, exhale, neutral spine, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, well done here. We'll sink ourselves back to neutral, so back up, arms, arms up to the top, breathe out, hands to the heart. Okay, let's take our hands on top of the thighs. Let's prepare for cow and cat. So feet are firmly still planted. We're gonna open up the chest, stick our tailbones out to the back, open up our hearts, and then exhale, round the back to cat pose, reaching our fingertips to the front, drawing the belly to the back of the chair. Okay, so here's a side profile of this posture. Inhaling, opening up the chest, tail sticking to the back, Rolling the shoulders back and down. Exhale, rounding the back. Belly button's going to the back of the chair. Fingertips are reaching to the front. Chin is to the chest. So we're gonna do this nice and slow with breath. Breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. Okay, continue breathing in and out. Do two more, breathing in and out. A nice mobility into the spine. Inhale, roll those shoulders back, down, breathe out. Did I say two more? Let's do one more, okay? In and out, well done. Okay, bring your 
yourself back to neutral spine. I always like to take the arms all the way back up again. In and exhale, breathe out, reset the body. Perfect. From here, let's do a twist. Breathe in, exhale, twist to the left, switching it up. Inhale back to center, twisting it to the right. Good. Come on back to center, release the arms. Well done. So if you've done my practice before, we're gonna do a half sun salutation with the with our arms in the, on the chair. So arms up, we're gonna take our hands down to the sides, breathe in here, chest up, and then gently press on the sides of your legs all the way down, down, down. Keep your head above your heart if you have any dizziness. Okay, so you're gonna keep it right here. Otherwise, go all the way down. Now with a nice tight belly and your hands on the inside of the legs, we're going to come on up, press your feet into the earth, inhale, push up, tight belly, tight belly, and then exhale, relax your shoulders and roll them back. Okay, let's do that again. Inhale, touch, exhale, hands to the sides, breathing in, chest up, exhale, push. Push into the sides of your legs. You're stimulating the yang meridians of the body. Okay. Engage your belly muscles. Tight belly. Press into your feet. Hands on the inside. Breathing in. And out. Some people ask me, how much am I pressing into the body here? You can press as hard or softly as you wish. Okay. It's your practice, your yoga. Breathe in here, exhale, push down, breathe out, tight belly, come on up, inhaling, tight, tight belly, roll the shoulders back and down. Can we do two more? Breathing in, lift, 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 exhale, breathe out, inhale, chest up, breathe out, exhale, exhale, all the way down, press into the feet, Weight in the heels, tight belly, press on up, breathing in and out. One more time, okay, inhale, lift, exhale, release, breathe in, chest up, roll the shoulders back, and then I'll push on the sides of the body, breathing out, awesome. Inhale, come on up, tight, tight belly, press, press up in the inside of the legs, and breathe out. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Breathing in, arms up, and resetting hands of the heart. Well done. Inhaling here, exhaling. Let's do one more breath. Breathing in and out. Great. Usually after that, you feel a little bit more warm. So we're gonna continue to warm up the body. Let's take the arms out. Inhale here. Exhale, I want you to take your left arm, reach it over to the side. Good, twisting and turning. Good, open up, breathing in. Palms out to the side, so you're pushing the walls, okay? Inhale, the brush stroke the arm over. Turning, chest up, back straight, and then out. Open the chest up. Again, breathing in, and then open up, breathe out. Well done, inhaling. Oosh. Exhaling. Now we're going to switch the breath. Breathe in, chest open. Exhale, compression. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Relax the shoulders. No tight shoulders here, please. Breathing in. Expand. Breathing out. In. Chest up. Tall spine. Breathing out. Okay, now we're going to do some breast strokes. Opening up. All the way across, brush stroke across, and inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Nice expansion of breath, in, exhale, breathing in, exhale, brush across, inhale, bring it across the chest. Exhale, all the way across again. Last one here, breathing in and out. Inhaling, exhale. So I'm at last set. Good, open up, breathe in, Ooh, breathe out. 
Great work on the shoulders. Up and back, roll them out. Five, four, three, two, keep on breathing, and one. Let's go ahead and take the right arm back up here, just on its own, sway to the sides. So we've already done this before, but we're just seeing how warmed up the body is. Come on back up, breathing in, hopefully a little bit more warm, a little less stiff, breathe out, good. Inhale up, and now we're gonna hold it here. So just relax here, relax the shoulders, Wiggle those fingers down on the ground, down where the ground is. If you can, with the relaxed shoulders, go ahead and look up to that top elbow. Breathe in, and now gently look down to the bottom wrist. Good, inhale, looking up, and look down, breathe out. Again, in, and out, breathe out. Good, tight belly, lift up and release. Let's do the other side. Up, inhale, tight belly, tall spine, breathe out, relax those shoulders, keep the chest open. Breathing in, chest up, breathing out, softness in the chest, softness in the ribcage here. Inhale, lift, exhale, sway. Now we're going to hold it here, softening the top and bottom shoulders, wiggling the fingers down below, nudging maybe that elbow back, relax shoulder, breathe in, look up, gently look down to the bottom wrist, good, breathing in, looking up, exhale, looking down, nice and soft, breathing in, and breathing out, good, tight belly, lift up, and release, good, both arms up again, breathing in, resetting, Exhale, hands to the heart. Perfect reset. Take one breath here. Breathe in and out. Well done. So if you've seen any of my videos before, I love to play the Imagineer piano. So I want you to take your piano fingers up to the sky. Take your piano fingers down to the side. Good. Come on back up. Piano fingers up. And all the way to the other side. Now, we did the Imagineer piano in the sky, bring it all the way down to proper piano table height. So wiggling those fingers, putting some action here, and let's go ahead and play the scale all the way across. Now when we do this, I want you to make sure that your arms are not overextending. We're keeping the arms in the body, okay? So make sure the arms are in the body and we're wiggling them, wiggling them all the way across, giving a nice little workout to our joints our metacarpals. And then we'll work on the metatarsals below those joints in our toes. Good, are you breathing? Play that piano all the way across. And let's go back to the center <sighs> and release. Well done, played a great song. Take a breath here, in and out. <sighs> let's go ahead and interlace the fingers now and roll out the wrist. So I'm rotating it one way, your choice, your practice and then we're gonna roll it out the other way, noticing how it feels. One way is always grumpier than the other. Be honoring the body. And then let's go ahead and give a little worm or a little twisty roller coaster here, and then see if you can do it both ways, okay? One way and the other way. Ooh, one way looks really wacky than the other, doesn't it? A little more coordinated on one side. So I always say if you're ill-coordinated on one side, you start with that grumpy side, okay? Good, now reach all the way up, this time fist together, like you're the champion, you just conquered this part of the sequence. Reach up, draw the belly in, shake those wrists, shake those hands, breathe in, and then release. <sighs> Palms open here, nice breath, in and out. Okay, so you know I love to tap on our bodies as we work into our sequences. This is how we combine our Chinese medicine principles with yoga. So go ahead and tap on the top of the shoulder. I'm gonna use a gentle cupping fist, um, a fist here. You can either have like a C cup or you can have uh, the fist itself. I'm gonna tap on the top of my shoulder here and then tap on the outside of the arm. So I'm stimulating the chi, the life force of my body. 
on the outside, the yang meridian, and then I'm going on the inside, the yin meridian of my body, okay? Then I'm gonna come across the chest, the upper part of my chest here, just below my collarbones, and then I'm gonna hit, and gently tap, hit, tap, stimulate here the top of my shoulder, and all the way to the outside of the arm, okay? The yang meridian, and working on the yin. So Chinese medicine is all about that yin yang symbol, keeping balance of the body. So I'm gonna do this three times. So this is two, okay? So you can go firmly or gently, it's your choice. Maybe you feel like a little bit of a gorilla here. I'm gonna stop here for a moment. And then I'm gonna go across, tapping on the top. It's our gallbladder channel, all the way down to the side, coming up the center. And now I'm gonna go a little bit faster for my last round. How's that feel? Are you breathing or are you holding your breath as you do this? Make sure you breathe right here. We're gonna stop right here, just underneath the collarbones. I'm gonna take my fingertips now and tap here. Breathing in and out. One more breath, in and out. And now stop, I want you to notice, what are you feeling? Where are you feeling it? And what's happening overall? Take a breath, inhale, exhaling. I'm hoping you've started to feel the chi and the blood starting to move, especially in the upper body. Tapping just below the collarbones actually helps to stimulate and open up our lung meridian channel. This is a common area that are actually acupuncture people because when we're working on opening the lung space so there's a lot of respiratory things that are going around right now this is a wonderful spot so if you feel like you need to do a little extra tapping there go ahead and do that okay now that we've stimulated the top part of our torso and we did a little bit of pressure on the sides of our legs and the inside of our legs let's go ahead and start tapping on the outside of our legs okay so we're gonna start in our glutes I always like to kind of rub it a little and I'd be like, yep, we're gonna warm it up and then we're gonna tap. Same positioning with the hands, we're gonna breathe. So we're gonna tap down, same thing here, tap on the inside, come on up, okay? We're gonna engage our belly button muscles, our belly button and the muscles around the belly button to ensure that we're supporting our lower back, okay? So come on back up, tighten your belly, and don't forget to breathe. So breathing out as we go down and inhaling, Tight belly, tight belly on the in. Okay, we're gonna do that two more times, five times on this. Down, inhale, inhale, come on up. Last one, down, and up. Perfect, take a breath. How is the whole body feeling now? Where are you feeling it? What are you feeling? Breath here, please, breathe in. Ah. <sighs> Great, now let's work on our lower body. This is where I will ask you maybe, if it's good for you, to sit a little, scooch yourself a little bit further back onto the chair, okay? To make sure that you have a nice, um, that you're nice and firmly planted. So both sits bones are planted onto the chair. And then if you wish, you can use the sides of the chair to support you as you do this practice, okay? So same positioning, our shoulders have to be on top of our waist. Draw the chin in a little bit because sometimes when we're doing a lot of this forward body work, we're gonna start lifting our legs. We have a tendency to stick our necks up. So make sure the chin is drawn in slightly, the crown of our head is reaching up to the sky, okay? Shoulders stacked on top of the waist. Tight abdominal muscles here. Okay, so we have our belly button in the center. We have these beautiful transverse abdominus muscles on the side. Think about yourself as squeezing them into the belly button area, into that area, and then drawing it in and lifting up with your heart. Okay, from this position here, nicely engaged, we're gonna lift up the right foot. Nice straight leg. Breathing in here and release, breathe out. Other side, in and out. Now you're asking, do I need to flex my foot or point it? Well, I just like to have a relaxed foot as I do this to start. 
breathe out. In, out. Now, if you really want to kind of work it a little, go ahead and flex the foot slightly. Not too much that you're going to put so much strain on the back of the leg because when we're seated like this, we don't want to activate sciatica. We just want to be giving ourselves a good enough stretch, just like kind of like Goldilocks, right? Not too hard, not too soft, not too mushy, not too, what was it with the oatmeal? I'm not sure. But um, we're just making sure it's perfect for us. Not too much, not too little. So I'm just flexing the toes slightly, so I'm feeling just a little smidge of a, of a stretch more here. Engaging the belly, crown of the head's lifted. Don't forget to breathe. Great. Okay, we're gonna continue. Let's do two more on each side, okay? So breathe in, out, in, out. Very good. In, out, in, out. Good. Now, this is where we connect the brain, the mind, the body, the whole thing. This is where it makes it fun. It makes it yoga. So making sure your feet are still firmly planted to some degree onto the chair, onto the floor rather, your sits bones are on, down onto the ground. We're going to take the leg up, tight belly, and the opposite arm, okay? Nice little high five up and a kind of a high foot below, okay? Inhale here, exhale, good. Breathe in, opposite. Breathe out, relax the bottom shoulder. Breathe in, this is relaxed. Breathe out, high five, low five. Breathe out, in, out, tall and proud. Breathing in, out, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, how's that feel? Now, let's do it with arms out. Inhale. Ooh, you really need to work the belly, don't you? Breathe out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Good. Inhale, tight belly, supporting the spine. Out. In. Out. Inhaling. Don't hold your breath. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. I feel like we need to do one more on each side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Chest up, keep that belly engaged, in and release. Well done. Take your arms up, breathe out, help to reset one more time, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, let's take our hands down onto the thighs. Let's go ahead and take the right knee up, okay? So I want you to hold onto your leg here. I'm interlacing my fingers and I'm grabbing onto my shin. I'm gonna have my chest up here. Breathe in here and breathe out, release. Inhaling, we're gonna do the other side. Chest up and release. Now we're gonna breathe in and a little bit of compression here, breathe out. So when we do these extensions, it's nicely, it's also important to do the compression here as well on our psoas. Because we're opening up and compressing. This allows for beautiful blood flow to go into our joints. Okay, release, other side. Breathe out. Okay, in and out, chest up. Inhaling, exhaling, compression. We're gonna do one more on each side. Breathing in and breathe out. In and out. Good. From here, take your hands behind you, firmly planted on the chair. We're gonna have our feet placed in front of us, okay? I want you to draw your belly in and lift up your chest, up, 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 up. Okay, so side profile looks like this. Okay, so my fingertips either were kind of in here, they can be in front, they can be to the side. Draw the belly in and opening up the heart. Inhaling, exhaling, and if you want to feel a little bit more adventurous, I want you to plant those four corners of your feet down into the ground, draw the belly in, and lift maybe the hips off of the chair, breathing in, and then breathing out, releasing, okay? So we're only doing what's best for us and what's comfortable. Now I want you to, I'm gonna turn myself around, 
Now we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to start um, a little bit of a practice while we're seated and supported on the chair in um, warrior one posture. So I want you to go ahead and take your right foot out. Okay, so we're extending our leg out. And it's going to be important that our right sit bone is planted on the chair. The left leg is going to now come out and extend here. So what feels good for you on your chair? Is your sit bone kind of sunk and sitting on the chair or is it lifted up? For me, as your yoga person here instructing, I like to see that your sit bone on the, the knee that is bent is firmly on the chair here. The other leg is straight and it's kind of scooched a little bit off of the chair. So you have this opening into your psoas, okay? The knee is gonna be on top of the ankle as best as you can. The back leg is gonna be straight as much as you can, okay? Again, this may be your first time ever practicing a warrior one pose, Virabhadrasana one on using the chair for support and extending your body like this. So we're gonna practice ahimsa and make sure we're very comfortable with it. If you can, try to straighten up that leg. If it's more comfortable to bend it to start, then you're gonna bend it, okay? So we're gonna find what's best for you. If you can, these back toes are gonna to spread out. The front toes are gonna to be spread out. And I'm gonna turn the back toes in slightly, okay? So it's turned in slightly. The heel, of my front foot is going to be in line with the middle of my back foot. My shoulders are still going to be on top of my waist and my arms are going to be spread out parallel to the floor. Now, are, how are you feeling when you're doing this posture? Does something feel wacky? Do you need to stop or do you need to pull back? What do you need to do or do we need to continue? So if you're going to continue, I want you to have the arms out your, um, your shoulders are relaxed, the arms are parallel to the floor, then you're gonna turn to look over to your right hand and looking through and beyond the middle finger into infinity. And I want you to breathe here, inhaling and exhale, release the arms. We're gonna do that again, breathing in, extending and release, <sighs> okay? Breathing in, planting the feet into the floor. Exhale, release, drawing the belly in, feeling nice and tall. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, let's take the arms all the way up. In, take your hands at the heart, look forward, look to the side, to the right. Again, breathing in, looking to the front, looking to the side, to the right side, chest up. Again, breathing in, and breathing out. Well done. To come out of this pose, we're gonna breathe in here, release the arms, taking your hands back onto the chair, lean back, bend your knees, bring the legs closer to each other, and then we're going to reset feet planted firmly on the ground with sun salutation. Breathe in, touch, breathe out, hand to the side. Breathing in, chest up, tight belly, and then breathe out, pressing on the sides of the legs. Good, tight belly, press on up. Inhaling, exhaling, roll the shoulders back and down. Okay, we're doing two more of those. Breathe in, breathe out, in, exhale, breathe out. Gentle pressure on the sides of the legs. Tight belly, plant the feet in, inside with the hands, breathing in. Breathing out. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. Tight belly, come on up, support the spine. In and out. Okay, let's try the other side. So now we're taking the left knee out, planting the four corners of our foot down here, taking the right leg, extending it behind us, okay? So the, just as we did on the other side, and remember each side of our body is different. One is always a little grumpier than the other. This just so happens to be my non-grumpy side. This is the happy side. 
Four corners of the feet planted, knee on top of the ankle, shoulders still stacked on top of the waist, so make sure we're not leaning too far forward. Okay, great. And then we're always gonna kind of be focused a little bit that this, this left sit bone is planted firmly on the seat and then we're gonna see if we can scooch this little this leg a little bit off and that we're supported still, but it's more straight. Back toes are turned to the front, and then the front heel is in line with the back arch of our foot. Okay, now let's draw the belly in, shoulder stacked on top of the waist, still reaching through the crown of the head up to the sky. Let's go ahead and take our arms out parallel to the floor. You can go ahead, go ahead and look. Oh, that wasn't really parallel. I gotta bring my arm a little bit further up, but guess what? If this arm or shoulder is not feeling it for you, lower it down, that's okay. Put it on the hip. Do what you need to do to make yourself feel comfortable in the practice. We're going to extend, look over the front middle finger into infinity here, smiling, breathe in, and breathe out, release chest up here breathing in extending breathe out are you pressing into those feet tight belly breathing in exhale breathing out inhale exhaling well done arms up now in looking here exhale looking to your new front which is the left Good, breathing in, looking to center. Exhale, looking to the left, chest tall, chest up, back straight. Again, breathing in and exhale, looking to the side. Great, let's do one more. Breathing in and exhale, breathe out. Looking back to center, breathe in, release. Whoosh. Let's take the hands behind. Gently bring those knees back to center. Okay, toe heel, maybe toe heel them back to center. Feet planted, firmly planted down into the ground. Arms up, send salutation here. Up, bring it to the side, bring it in, breathe out, down. Tight belly, inhale, you get the, getting the hang of this, right? And release, two more, breathing in, breathing out, in, out, tight belly, come on up, in and out, one more, three times a charm, in, breathing out, in and out, inhaling and release, breathe out, well done. From here, we're going to go back into that warrior one posture, Virabhadrasana one, and do a little bit more. How is your body feeling? Do you need to skip this part or do you want to continue? Um, these are meant to be, these standing type poses are meant to build heat and strength in the body. So if you want to strengthen more, go and um, continue with me now. We're going to go back to that right leg. Now that we're pros at this, knee on top of the ankle, back leg straight and strong. Four corners of the feet rooted into the earth, okay? Back leg straight and strong if you can. Perfect. Try to have a lot of your weight into this back leg. This time, taking the arms out here. Okay, shoulders stacked on top of the waist, drawing the belly in. Feels already familiar and comfortable, doesn't it? Now let's go ahead and look to our right middle finger. From here, we're gonna reach, breathing in, lowering the hand down onto the thigh and reaching the arm over side angle posture. How does this feel? Okay, so remembering to keep this back leg fairly straight if you can. We're going to make sure that the hip is spilling over here, but it's the chest that is opened up. So we're not putting major strain into this lower back area. This is about opening up the heart. Okay, good. From here, with a nice tight belly, this is the best way to come out of it. Breathing it in. And I want you to lower the back hand, turning the palm up and saluting the sky. Inhaling here and then exhaling, releasing. Do you feel uh, majestic and strong from that? Let's do that again. 
We're gonna breathe here in and out, relaxing the shoulders. Inhale, stretch, exhale, lower and sway. Good, tight belly, press into that back leg. Breathing in, come on up, lower the back hand, turn the palm, breathe out. Open up the chest. It's very important we're not dumping into the lower back here, that we're just beaming our chest forward, opening up the heart. Inhale here, exhale, release. Let's do that again. Breathing in, breathing out, relaxing the shoulders, in and out with the breath. Tight belly, come on up. Breathing in, opening up the heart. Breathe out. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Well done. Same way to come out of this posture. I'm going to lean back, bend the knees, support myself with my arms, bringing the legs back. This time I'm going to have my hands firmly planted into the chair, my sits bones onto the chair, and I'm going to give myself a little shake. Shake with my legs. Okay? Feeling okay? Good. Let's do the other side. Expanding and opening up the left leg now, knee on top of the ankle, and then the right leg is going to be nice and straight behind us. Okay? Again, four corners of our feet planted down onto the earth, toes spread out, and then our back leg is going to be as straight as we can. I know this is all maybe new for you. Shoulders on top of the waist. Okay? And let's take our arms out. Breathe in here and then relax the shoulders. <sighs> Good. From here, pressing into that back leg for support, we're going to reach, breathe in, breathe out, extend. Okay, so remember when we're in this posture, we're not opening up our chest and the hip. The hip is spilling over and then the chest is opening up, okay? From here, tight belly, we're gonna come on up. Breathing in here, lowering the hand, turning the palm, opening up the heart to the sky. Breathe out. Remember, we're not dumping into this lower back. We wanna support our lower back. So we're engaging our belly and we're opening, expanding our hearts here. Inhale, and then exhale, release. Let's do that again. Breathing in. Relax the shoulders, breathe out. Inhale, extend. Exhale, stretch over. Beautiful. Tight belly, come on back to center. Breathe in. Lower the back hand, breathe out. Open up your heart, press into that back leg. Supporting your spine by engaging the belly muscles. Inhale, exhale, release. Let's do that again. Arms up to the sky this time, breathe in. Breathe out, soft shoulders here, in, reach, exhale, breathe out, tight belly, come on up, breathing in, breathe out. No dumping into the back, just heart lifted, look at your palm, breathing in here, and exhale, release. Okay, let's take the arms up, resetting, breathing out. Well done, releasing, hands behind us, bending those legs, softening them into the center, scooching behind onto the chair for nice support, giving yourself a little bit of a shake, okay? And then if you can, go ahead and plant those feet down into the ground, firmly plant your hands behind you, draw the belly in, open up the chest here, Nice breath in and out. Now see if you can straighten the legs out a little bit or maybe keeping them bent, but tighten the belly muscles, lift off the hips off of the chair. Little bridge pose here since we're super warmed up. Breathing in and then release, breathing out. Woo! Well done everyone, that's a lot. Hopefully you are super warmed up now. Now let's cool down the body. Breathing in, arms up, breathing out. We're gonna go for a twist. It's always beautiful to end our practice with twisting. So with your hands gently down onto the thighs, let's go ahead and take 
our left hand to the outside of our right thigh. The right hand is going to be planted behind us firmly, close to our tailbone on the chair. We're going to breathe in here and then exhale, twist. Keep your chin over your sternum, tall spine. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. So it's very important, we're gonna keep our hips nice and soft. Soften into the lower back slightly, we're just working on the upper back. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. So no grinding those sits bones into the chair, just moving and twisting the upper body. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep those shoulders nice and soft. Let's go ahead and look over the opposite shoulder. Breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. Okay, one more breath now. In and out. To get out of this pose, we're gonna breathe in and then exhale, unwind. Well done. Let's do the other side. Right hand to the outside of the left leg, thigh. Did I say the right hand? Yes, left hand to the behind us. Chest up, back straight, shoulders still relaxed. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, twist. Keep your chin right over that nice flat bone, the sternum of your body. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, twisting, soft shoulders. Inhale, exhale, twist with soft shoulders let's look over the opposite opposite shoulder here so i'm looking over my right shoulder closing my eyes so i can soften and enjoy the stretch breathing in and out inhaling exhaling one more breath in to come out of this pose, breathe in, exhale, unwind. Okay, let's get some shoulder rolls. Three, two, one, and let's do the opposite way. Three, two, don't forget to breathe, and one. Let's go ahead and turn our head to just give our necks a nice little stretch. Looking to the right, breathe in and out, holding it here. Shoulders relax, chest up, belly still tight, back to center, other side. Breathing in and out. Inhale, back to center, breathing out. I want you to look up slightly, breathe in. Exhale, back to center, pull the chin back, look down, inhaling, exhaling, come back to center. I want you to gently roll the head, gentle rolls with the neck. Remember our head is like 10 pounds or more. Okay, we're going one way and the other way. It's nice to articulate the cervical spine, our neck, bones. They get a lot of um, stretching, don't they, when we're on our devices. So we need to kind of work through that. Good, come back to center. Breathe in here and out. And one last little bit, we're just gonna shake everything out okay shake out those arms take your hands below and shake out the leg do one at a time shake out the other leg and last little bit to close we're going to press on the outside of the arm and press on the inside bring it all the way across down and up okay two times each way breathing and now, a same last bit here, down and up on the inside. One more time, breathing out and breathing in. Perfect. Well 
Well done, everyone. Take a breath here to close your practice. Inhaling, exhaling. <sighs> Thank you for joining me in this more intensive chair yoga practice. If you like this sequence, please subscribe to me and I look forward to seeing you soon. Peace. Namaste.